Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and I'm a full-time seven-figure eBay and Shopify seller. What I'm gonna do in today's video is go through at least three different lies that I was told before I started my eBay business. If you're new to selling on eBay or if you're thinking about it, this video is definitely gonna give you some sort of insight into the lies that you might be hearing or you might be thinking about. I'm gonna shed some, you know, light on all of these different lies that I was told before I started my eBay business. So make sure you stick with me throughout this whole video. From start to finish, there's gonna be some useful tips that are definitely gonna help you on your eBay journey. Journey. If you do find any value in the video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. I really appreciate that. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification as well so that YouTube lets you know whenever I've released a video just like this that's gonna help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first slide that I was told is that it was gonna be easy. Before I started my business, I used to read a lot of you know blogs, forums, and watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to build a business on eBay. And all of the you know videos that I used to watch used to make it seem like it was a very easy thing to do, but that isn't the case. Building a business on eBay is actually quite hard. And if it's something that you don't really wanna do, and it's something that you don't really care to do, and you're maybe just doing it for the money, it's definitely gonna be very difficult whilst you're trying to see some sort of success from it. It's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of energy. It's gonna take a lot of money as well trying to get started. So this is something that I consider to be very important that I want to bring to you guys' attention that it's not going to be easy at all. Now that I look back, it's been around, you know, 10 years since I've built my business on eBay and it's taken a long, long journey to get from the point that I started to the point that I'm at now. A lot of, you know, trial and error, a lot of mistakes, a lot of money lost, a lot of maybe getting scammed from different suppliers. There's so many different issues that has come from me building this business on eBay. So I just wanna make it clear to you guys that it's something that is definitely gonna take a lot of energy and a lot of patience whilst you're trying to build it up. If you're watching any other YouTuber and they're making it seem like it's a very easy thing to do in terms of building a business on eBay that's gonna be able to pay you a salary every single month, that's far from the truth. Once you understand that it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of trial and error to get your business to the point where you wanna get to, that's the point where you're gonna be able to put the effort needed to see it succeed. So the second lie that I heard from many different eBay YouTubers before I started is that eBay is going to be a form of passive income at the start or as you continue to grow your business, eBay will continue to be a form of passive income. So if you're not sure what passive income is, let me just read a definition from Forbes website. It says here that passive income is money that flows in regular intervals without needing to put any considerable amount of effort to create it. This is often referred to as making money work for you. So the reason why I don't consider eBay to be a form of passive income is because it takes a lot of energy on a consistent basis to make sure that everything goes right. So if we look at the beginning when I first started my eBay business, what I was doing is that I was importing stock from China and it was me that had to count the stock, make sure that everything was, you know, sent correctly from the supplier. I also had to be the one in charge of shipping out the orders to my customers, which involved me packing the orders every single day, well, Monday to Friday. I had to pack the orders, go to the post office. So this wasn't really a form of passive income. If anything, it was active income because I was actively working through it, but that's not necessarily bad. You shouldn't always chase passive income. You should have forms of active income and passive income. And I believe that eBay is a great form of active income. If you're going to be able to put the time into it, it's definitely going to be a good source of income for you. Whether you want to do it part-time or you want to do it full-time, I believe it's always great to start off, you know, part-time and then build it up to full-time. But even if you're doing it on a part-time basis and you're only making a couple hundred dollars every single month, it's definitely a great way to earn an additional source of income. So even though it's not a passive source of income, it doesn't need to be not everything needs to be passive. Sometimes you need to work. And that's one of the problems with, you know, today's day and age is that people just want things handed to them. But, you know, eBay is not that. So if you do want something that's a bit more passive, then you might want to look at a different method of trying to make money online. There's so many other methods, you know, affiliate marketing. You can even start a YouTube channel like what I'm doing right now. YouTube is a great source of passive income. You know, I would say that YouTube is kind of half passive, half active, because obviously I'm sitting here making the videos, but once the video is live and it's gonna be live on my channel for years to come, I'm gonna always be getting paid from YouTube AdSense, from any affiliate links that you might see down below. So if you do want something a bit more passive, then it might be in your best interest to do a different sort of business. You don't necessarily need to do an e-commerce business like eBay or Shopify. But if you are ready to get hands on and you're ready to invest in a real tangible business, then it might be in your best interest to look at starting a business on eBay. The third lie that I was told is that eBay only cares about the customers and they don't care about the sellers. eBay actually cares about their sellers more than they do their customers. And eBay have started to learn more and more over the years that without sellers, then there's not necessarily going to be any customers and it's going to be a domino effect of them essentially losing their business. So eBay have started to realize that sellers are a crucial part of them being able to make money. 
So they started to treat their sellers with a little bit more respect. But this is a, something that I've noticed in the past four years, I would say. And slowly and slowly, it's getting better and better. Especially if you're a business on eBay or you're a seller that has consistently shown that you care about the customers or that you are responsible in terms of paying your seller fees on time, making sure that the customers receive their goods on a consistent basis. Because I've tried to make sure to maintain my top rated seller status, eBay listen to me if I have any complaints. If I call up and then I tell them about an issue that I'm having with a buyer, they'll listen to me. You know, they're not necessarily just going to push me to the side. Now, what they might do is remove any negative feedback that the customer put on my account, or they might remove any defects that I might get. You know, there's so many different benefits that I get by being a top rated seller consistently. So this is why I always advise people to try and become a top rated seller as soon as possible and make sure that you maintain the top rated seller status for as long as you can. Because when you run into any issues with any customers, eBay are going to be there to defend you, even if it means for them to refund the customer and also refund you if there's any issues in terms of the customer damaging any item that they sent back ebay sometimes do this for me it's not all the time and it's not with every single agent but this is definitely a lie that i was told because i was always told that ebay doesn't care about their sellers but if you are a consistent seller and you're not someone that has just come onto the platform you know started selling rubbish stuff expecting ebay to help you when you run into an issue with a customer they're not going to do that they're obviously going to trust the customer that's been with them for longer and that spent more money on their platform so i guess it's more of like a money thing you know if you're a seller that has paid so much money in ebay fees over the years then obviously they're gonna prioritize you if you have any issues but if you are able to build up a relationship on ebay and make sure that you're consistent and you know provide a good service to all your customers then ebay are definitely going to be there to defend you if you've got any issues so i've got one bonus lie that i was told before i built my business on ebay which is that amazon is taking over ebay and if you build a business on ebay it's basically gonna die in the next few years because customers are shopping on amazon and they're not necessarily shopping on ebay and you know ebay sales are going to decline year after year after year but this is far from the truth as well and this is something that i kind of believed you know because amazon is definitely a big business and it's becoming more popular people are shopping there more often but i'm just going to jump in and show you an example of why i don't believe amazon is taking over ebay this is a quick example just to kind of illustrate my point so if we jump into amazon right now okay so i've just jumped onto amazon and as you can see i've typed in hair curler i'm just going to scroll down and show you the type of hair curlers that they have so as we can see we've got this like gray and pinkish hair curler this one is selling for 39.99 and what most customers do especially if they're shopping around is that they might go to amazon they might search for a product that they're looking for so in this case they might go to amazon and type in hair curler as you can see it says amazon's choice you know there's another one here it's very similar to this one it's 39.99 again so what most customers will do is that they will go to amazon they'll type in the item that they're searching for and then they might go to places like google or ebay and type in the item there to see if they can get it cheaper so if that same customer that's looking for a hair curler now goes onto ebay and taps in hair curler let's see what they'll see okay so i've just tapped in hair curler onto ebay and straight away we can see that the top one is very similar to the one that we just looked at on amazon and this one is going for 19 pounds and 49p you know if we keep scrolling this one is 18 pounds and 59p so the point that i'm trying to make is that amazon isn't necessarily taking over ebay we have to remember that amazon charges sellers a large fee for them to be able to store their stock in their amazon warehouses so amazon prices are always going to be slightly higher than ebay's prices and even though amazon are able to get the goods to the customer you know the same day or next day using amazon prime it doesn't mean that every single customer wants their goods the same day you know not every single customer is going to pay you know an extra 10 pounds or 20 pounds for them to receive their item the next day when they can wait three days for us to receive this item if we bought it from ebay so that's the first point the next point is that amazon also charge their customers 7.99 in terms of you know amazon prime every single month for them to be able to even have the next day delivery and not every single customer wants to pay a monthly subscription for them to be able to you know receive their goods the same day so these are the things that you need to think about when it comes to whether or not amazon is taking over ebay i don't believe it to be true but that's one of the lies that i was told before I started my eBay business. There's many, many other lies that I was told, but in this video, I just wanted to give you the few lies that came to my head this morning. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss all the future videos that I'm gonna be releasing when it comes to tips and tricks that you can use with your eBay business. And don't forget to press the like button if you found any value in this video. I'm gonna be releasing videos like this every few days, you know, every couple of days. So make sure you press the like button so that I know that you want more content just like this. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. I'm trying to respond to every single comment that is posted posted on my video so make sure you put your comments down below all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace